Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fan back again with a super late GTA 5 video. But the reason this is so late is because Rockstar released some new gun running DLC information and screenshots. This is actually super random. I actually went to go see the new Wonder Woman movie and apparently like midway through they decided to release this. Apparently like during one of their live streams. So this was super unexpected, super out of the blue super random but holy crap is this stuff incredible looking all right so we'll do some breakdowns tomorrow we'll, we'll save all that stuff for later but just quickly going through i'll just have the pictures go on the screen going through the newswire to thrive as an arms dealer in gta line gun running it's going to take more than street smarts choose your supporting vehicles and armaments wisely for your best chance to outwit both the feds and any rival dealers start moving weapons e to eager buyers in los santos or blaine county to earn a tidy profit and tap into powerful new upgrades, modifications, and heavy duty weaponry. Here's a deeper look at just a few of the potent tools at your disposal in gun running. And that first picture, holy crap, a freaking trailer with anti-air missiles blowing off a hydra. Come on, man, they, they listen. That's awesome. All right, next picture. We got this, holy crap, what the hell is that? I don't know, it says, everything begins with a bunker. Oh, that's the mobile command center. Okay, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Everything begins with a bunker. And by the way, I'm seeing this stuff for the first time, so if I get, like, excited or whatever, that's that's why. All right, everything begins with a bunker for the third time. The massive underground hub of your new enterprise. Any CEO, VIP, or MC president can jump start their promising career from here to get operations off the ground. So it actually looks like you maybe don't need to have something new. Like, you can just be a CEO, VIP, or MC. Like, it's going to be just a part of that, which is kind of cool. But, yeah, that picture, holy crap. I mean... Again, we're going to break down all this stuff later, but, or tomorrow, but we have the Tampa, the APC tank. I don't know what that is. I think that's the, the dune loader in the back left. And then the, another sort of a uh, off-roading vehicle and the mobile commands and holy crap, that thing is huge. All right. Next picture. We have agent, uh, the guy from single player. I cannot remember his name, agent something, but he, it looks like is our guy for this DLC. For heavy-duty tactical operations on the move, arm dealers can invest in a mobile operations center, the kind of powerful support usually enjoyed only by trained assassins or rogue nuclear states. Storable in your bunker. Okay, wow, that's actually pretty cool. This drivable command center's modular construction allows for tailored combinations of vehicle workshop, weapons, weapon workshops, luxury living quarters, and command center with facilities for upgrading and customizing your arsenal and modifying weaponized vehicles, including turrets for your, mob uh, for your mobile operation center that can be manned by your squad, all at your fingertips and pulled by a fully customizable commercial semi. Dude, holy crap. Like, what? Wait up. So, it's storable in our bunker, and it, uh... I'm, so from what I gather, like basically the mobile command center is going to be totally customizable. You can put a, a vehicle workshop in it, a weapon workshop in it. You can have a, a living quarters in it, which I don't know how that's going to work. And the command center, that's, oh my God, okay. Next picture, okay, so we got some new clothing and the new weapons. Look at that scope, man. That scope looks awesome. So weaponized vehicles are a brand new class to stock and customize. I told you guys I was going to be coming. Build a fleet to cover every eventuality, from the ultimate utility of the fully amphibious cannon-toting APC to a mobile anti-aircraft trailer that'll have pilots soiling their cockpits across the states. Weaponized vehicles can also be employed as company assets instrumental in delivering any cargo or delivering cargo to any drop-off. Okay, that's actually pretty awesome. Weaponized vehicles can be employed. So I'm guessing your 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 people and your crew can actually use whatever you have. That's cool. And then holy crap, what the heck? This is like inside, I guess. So beyond manufacturing your stock to sell, reap the benefits of your bunker's white coat staff by Oh, that's inside the bunker. That looks really cool then. Um, by allocating their time to research, and they'll get busy unlocking a range of optional upgrades, including unique personal weapon modifications, a whole range of brutal tech for your weaponized vehicles, and terrifying upgrades for your mobile operation center. That sounds awesome. Okay, so basically you let them research some stuff, and they'll find some cool stuff for you, and then holy sh... What the... What is this? What is this? Oh my god, it's a freaking flying jet bike. Dude, holy crap. And then we have the APC tank here with, uh, looks like some savages in the background. Maybe, I don't think we're going to get a hunter in this DLC, but maybe one of those is a hunter. I don't know. That, I think they're all just savages though. And then the final one is that, uh, oh wow. I just realized there's a gun on the front of it, but yeah, this is the, this is that, the, whatever it's called, the dune buggy with a bunch of cool customization. 
So that is everything. I know this is going to be a super quick video. Again, I'm going to be looking through this stuff over the next like hour or two, man, and uh, breaking, it, breaking it down tomorrow since it is pretty late. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Please drop the video a like if you are hyped. Like, holy crap, dude, that freaking mobile command center, the, the new weapons, the inside of the bunker, that flying jet bike. Come on. That, this is some awesome stuff. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. That is it, though. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.